Gajmukhasur and Shiva. There is yet another tale about Ganesha and his elephant's head. According to a legend, there once lived a demon who had the head of an elephant and the body of a demon since birth. His name was Gajmukhasur, who lived like a monk and ardently worshipped Shiva. He prayed devotedly for years. Finally, Shiva appeared before him and promised to grant him his wish. Gajmukhasar asked Shiva to grant him the boon to stay unconquered forever and that no human, celestial being or animal could kill him. He also wished that no weapon of any kind could ever kill him. He was granted both these boons. Gajmukhasar continued to pray even more rigorously to Shiva who appeared before him again. This time, Gajmukhasur wanted Shiva to reside in his stomach. Shiva, widely known to grant any wish of his fervent devotees, fulfilled Gajmukhasur's this wish too and started living in the demon's stomach. Gajmukhasur and Vishnu Gajmukhasur became invincible by making Shiva reside in his stomach. As a result, he inflicted terror upon the inhabitants of both heaven and earth. When Shiva did not return, Parvati was so worried. She thought for a while and went to Vishnu for help. Vishnu is the preserver of the world and has divine powers. He disguised himself as a celestial flautist and went to Gajmukhasur. Gajmukhasar was enchanted by the melodious sound of the flute and danced to the music played by Vishnu. The demon was absolutely oblivious to the fact that the flautist was none other than Vishnu himself. Delighted with the music, he haughtily told the flautist to ask him for anything. Vishnu, in the garb of a flautist, teased him by saying, you cannot fulfill my wish, Gajmukhasar. Vishnu wanted to trick the demon into releasing Shiva from his stomach. Gajmukhasar releases Shiva. Gajmukhasar grew agitated when the flautist told him that he couldn't fulfill his wish. He insisted that the flautist should ask for anything in the world and he would be given the same. Vishnu was waiting for this moment. He asked Gajmukhasar to release Shiva who was residing in his belly. Gajmukhasar was shocked with the flautist's wish. Instantly, he knew that the flautist was Vishnu himself as Vishnu was the only one who could have known about Shiva's whereabouts. The demon set Shiva free since he had given his word to the flautist. But in the process of releasing Shiva, the demon died. Before breathing his last, the demon requested Shiva to enable his head to be remembered forever. His dying wish was honored by Shiva as he gave the demon's head to his son Ganesha. Parvati and Ganga The Puranas narrate yet another story of Ganesha's birth. Once Parvati bathed on the banks of river Ganga. The used path water was then poured back into the river. It is believed that this water was gulped down by the goddess Malini who had an elephant's head. Malini later on gave birth to a boy who had four arms and five heads of elephants. Goddess Ganga claimed that this multiple elephant-headed infant was her son. On the other hand, Parvati also stated that the child was hers. They both had an argument. They took the issue to Shiva and asked him for a solution. One of the several names of Shiva is Kailash, meaning one who bestows peace. Shiva resolved the dispute by announcing that Parvati was the mother of the baby with five heads of elephants. Shiva then united the five heads of the child into one and named him Vignesh, meaning remover of obstacles. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, 
सब्सक्राइब टू साहिल बुक हाउस